This is my studio where I make films, music, comics, animations and games and anything else that will help me expand my story world. Now on today's episode I wanted to show you my Mechamon that I got signed from Silas or my newest toy the holograms but I've got to start right at the beginning. The specific part of my journey that turned me from a transmedia producer to also being a creative technologist. So today I'm going to be showing you my game Kachina's Legacy. Now I've been interested in game design since I was 4 years old but in around 2016 I decided there was going to be no perfect time to really get stuck in as a transmedia producer I knew I was always going to come back to wanting to build worlds in the gaming format. So I just started and I used a platform that I was familiar with called RPG Maker. Now I've been using RPG Maker since I was 14 and so was familiar with the ins and outs of it. But I was one of those quote unquote hardcore RPG makers who only liked RM2K or RM2K3 and I only got interested in future versions when they announced that they would be making a version that could also export to Mac, iOS and Android. So inspired by a festival that I went to and the Legend of Zelda series, I created the story world for Kachina's Legacy, with Kachina being the youngest of two siblings, living in a world of fairies, waking up after taking her first initiation. Now my dream game would have an action battle system like the Legend of Zelda franchise, but like I said, I decided to just start game designing without hesitation and not letting the boundaries get in front of my exploration of game design. But then, after doing a couple of experiments, I actually made an action battle system within RPG Maker MV. This was the turning point and led to me just creating more and more mechanics fulfilling the dream that was the story world of Kachina's legacy. And this naturally led me on to start editing other people's plugins to get the most out of the RPG Maker software. Now at this stage I didn't even consider myself a coder or programmer, though looking back on it I was clearly very deep into it. Now it's funny because looking back on it I feel like I was just channeling Nintendo type energies. Watching the talk about the making of Breath of the Wild there's a point where you can see them using a 2D architecture to test out and prototype some ideas that they would want to use for the final three dimensional version for the Nintendo Switch. But Kachina's legacy was almost like the 2D prototype being the whole game. That is how I imagined it. So when I finally played Breath of the Wild, there were definitely some inspirations that I took directly. And one of them being wanting to add a temperature system into the game. Now naturally the RPG Maker equipment visual feedback favours higher numbers. So basically effectively if this item gives you more of a stat it gives you a colour that says yeah that's great and if it gives you a lower one it gives you a signal that this isn't as good. But the temperature system doesn't favour just higher numbers it favoured a particular number also meaning that it needed three points or vectors so it's exactly on point, too hot or too cold. To do this I needed to edit the core engine and I managed to do it. At this point this is when I accepted to myself that I was able to code and many opportunities opened up in front of me. I gave a talk on how to make games without knowing how to code, I started getting paid to research futuristic technology in the industry itself and I also got accepted as a developer for Nintendo. But I'm getting ahead of myself. It's crazy because everything that I dreamed would happen when the game was finished actually ended up happening before, except one and the most important thing, which is obviously you people being able to play the game. Now if you want to help test Kachina's legacy, join my discord, or if you just want to see what's happening with all my projects, follow my Instagram and that's generally where I post. So that's it for this first episode. Maybe you've had fun, but hopefully you're having a blessed day.